we have a great scholar who his book is perhaps in all of the houses of the Shia. And that is a book of dua, a book of supplication by the name of Mafatih al-Jinan, the keys to paradise. The it's book of dua and the author of this book, he's a scholar by the name of Sheikh Abbas al-Qummi. He compiled a book of dua that goes through the calendar. In the beginning of the year, what is the dua of this day? What is the dua of the next day, the month after, the following months? And he has compiled all of the recommended deeds and supplications and, and prayers that a person is supposed to do throughout the whole year. Sheikh Abbas al-Qummi, he wrote this book, he authored it, and then he called the publisher, he tells the publisher, I'm going to bring you this book, and please, I want you to publish it for me. So he finished the book, and then he goes and he hands it over to the publisher. And then, a while later, before the publisher begins to publish the book and to, you know, print the book, Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, he goes to the publisher and he takes the book back. And he tells him, I have to make some changes to it. I'll bring it back to you later. So the publisher says, okay, bring it back whenever you're ready. And inshallah, we will print your book for you. He goes and he takes it. And he does not go back to the publisher until one full year later. One full year he waits and then he goes and he gives it back to the publisher. He tells him, now I'm comfortable. Now you could go ahead and print this book for me. So the publisher, he tells him, Oh Shaykh, what happened? I thought you were going to go and come back a few days later, a few weeks later maximum, and then we we're going to print your book for you. Why did you wait a whole year? He tells him, because my book is a book of dua. And I am telling people, I am giving people the guidelines and how to do dua throughout the whole year. So I figured that before I tell other people, let me tell myself. Let me come and implement what I'm telling people, and then I will come and give it to other people. My dear brothers and sisters, this is perhaps the reason why the book of this man, Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, the Kitab Mafatih al-Jinan, is the most popular book of dua. Because it's a book that is pure sincerity, and the man did not do it for others. The man implemented exactly what he is telling other people to do. This very same scholar, since we're talking about intentions, this very same scholar, Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, he has another very important book, a very beautiful book, by the name of Manazil al-Akhirah, the phases of the Akhirah, the phases of the afterlife. And he comes and he talks about what happens immediately after a person dies and what phases a person goes through. This book, he wrote it, and it went out, it was published in Iran, in Qom, he lived in Qom, there was a masjid by the name of Masjid Imam al-Hasan al-Askari, this masjid is still there, it's close to the shrine of Sayyidah Ma'suma. There was a speaker who used to go up on the minbar, and every day he would open the book of Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, Manazil al-Akhirah, the phases of the afterlife, and he would read a few pages, and people around the masjid, they hear, this, they hear this book is being read. And very useful information is being re recited, is being read to the people, to the masses. So one day, the father of Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, he comes to his son. He tells him, oh my dear son, you're sitting and you're writing books. I want you to write a book like that Shaykh that is reciting He's reading from a book that is very beautiful and he's talking about the Day of Judgment and he's talking about the Akhirah. Why don't you write a book like that book? Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, that speaker was reading from the book of Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi. But Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, he doesn't tell his father that that book is my book, that you're impressed with, that is my book. He doesn't tell his father, he tells his father, inshallah. What does this show? This shows that his writing and his action and his deeds were for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He wasn't doing it. So other people look at him and other people say, MashaAllah what this person has done. And this is the importance of intention. And this is 